Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and I have some great news here for today's video. We are now about a week away from Sledgehammer Games getting back from their second vacation since launch, and boy, it is going to be great when they do. We have, as of right now, actually no idea what they're going to be doing. Their Trello board hasn't really been updated. They haven't really discussed any changes they may be bringing to the game or may not be bringing to the game. But hopefully some things are going to be happening, because look at this clip right here, man. Like, what in the world is this? So, I've been leveling my guns. It's been double everything, right? So, I level my guns. I usually go to shipment. Sometimes I go to hardcore shipment, because I have some pistols to do. How is this acceptable? <laughs> Does anybody in Sledgehammer actually play their game? Remember when they put out that blog post where they're like, we were right there getting spawn killed on shipment with you. We were right there getting destroyed by shotguns on DOS House. We're playing the game. We are listening. Well, it's been almost two months. <laughs> and this is like what we have. If you go into shipment, this is what we have. This is the experience. Like looking at this in slow motion, like... Not only is this ridiculous, I'd argue this is almost dangerous, what we have right here. Like, the reason why people's, like, old-school PlayStation 4s and Xbox Ones and stuff are crashing is probably because they can't render the amount of fire that is constantly on your screen when you play on shipment. Like, this is going to set off some seizures or something, man. I have no idea, like, how they thought this was acceptable. I don't know how, if they're actually playing the game like they claim they are, that they haven't added something to make you immune to fire or just add a trophy system. Like, they didn't want to bring the trophy system in if you guys didn't hear this one of the developers at sledgehammer said during a podcast that they didn't want to have a trophy system in the game because it wasn't really historically accurate meanwhile we're using red dot sites that weren't even around during world war ii i mean what do you call it the nidar site or whatever that was not actually used during world war ii we have things like a fire breathing dragon stg 44 variant we've got tracer rounds we've got christmas weapon variants that you can buy for 24 dollars where your bullets when they expend out of the gun when you shoot they look like candy canes are crying out loud all that stuff is fine but a trophy system that's where we draw the line over a sledgehammer games apparently man like if they actually played their game like if they actually jumped onto a single game of shipment and saw how bad the spawns were and saw how much fire ruins the game knowing that there is no counter whatsoever you think they would fix that but again they're on their second vacation since launch and they're gonna be back in about a week's time they said see you in 2022 but there's no way they're gonna hit the ground running on new year's day there's no way that's gonna happen so we're gonna have to wait a little bit after new year's day so i'd give it about a week from now before sledgehammer games is fully back in the swing of things and actually doing things to the game once again and hopefully they actually have some things up their sleeve because this could very well be the end of sledgehammer games i mean i talked about it before and i may be entirely wrong about this but when you look at the sales of vanguard and how the sales are down so down that they've had the game on sale essentially since launch and how it had the worst launch in the uk since 2007 with call of Duty 4 Activision is definitely going to take notice of that. The Activision knows that Sledgehammer Games could not work with Raven Software on their Vietnam game, and then they had to basically just kick those guys out. They had to kick Sledgehammer out and appoint Treyarch to lead the game, and that game eventually became Black Ops Cold War. That was already a huge strike against Sledgehammer, and then now they put together Call of Duty Vanguard. It's not selling well. The competitive fans are pissed. Warzone has broken everything, including Modern Warfare, and the actual multiplayer itself is not selling well, and it's not running well. There's lots of problems here. Like, I could honestly see a situation where sledgehammer games is removed from the franchise or they become like one of those small side studios like Beenix or neversoft or things like that like toys for bob i think is actually one of the studios as well they have so many studios now it's hard to keep track but i can definitely see after the reception of this game them actually making sledgehammer games not one of the main studios and going back to the two-year dev cycle which would be even worse for the franchise because they take three years to make their games now and that's apparently not even enough when last time we got a good cod game at launch that actually worked so if they get rid of sledgehammer then suddenly we're back to just treyarch and infinity ward and they only have two years to make their games as compared to three which is gonna make them even buggier than they were before like this is actually huge this is a big problem here and maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm entirely wrong about this it's entirely possible that sledgehammer games is already being conscripted into making another call of duty title in three years time and as a result between their vacations and all the lawsuits having an activision they're also working on that game right now and it's hard to work on that game and take vacations and deal with Activision and the better ABK movement which is definitely an important movement I definitely hope that works out and they actually unionize and everything but between all that stuff it may be difficult to actually work on the current game and support the current game while doing all those other things. So I guess we'll have to wait and see how things are going to play out. It's definitely going to be really interesting. I mean, I wish I could recommend people buy this game every day. People come into my stream saying, Nero, should I buy the game yet? 
No, <laughs> I really don't think you should. Uh, with all the technical problems, with the lack of support from the developers, the lack of communication from the developers, it just it's not worth it right now, unfortunately. I mean, I'm going to keep on playing. I'm going to keep on making videos and recording things and doing everything there is to do in the game so I can cover things to the best of my knowledge and the best of my ability. But yeah, right now, the game is just in a really really rough spot but ladies and gentlemen that's all for this short little video here today i hope you all enjoyed it just want to talk a bit about sledgehammer games and talk about the absurdity that is shipment currently do you guys avoid shipment when you're leveling up your guns like what do you guys do to get around this so let me know down there in the comment section below thank you all so much for listening thank you to my members for supporting the channel and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day